Hello everyone, I'm Elizabeth Shaw and just do a video on revenge and karma against the narcissist. Now not everyone is a narcissistic person who is negative and toxic. You can have negative people, you can have toxic people, you can have people with other mental health issues that are not on the narcissistic personality disorder spectrum. The main things you're looking for with these people is someone lacking in empathy, someone who feels entitled and someone who exploits other people and just goes around destroying all other people. If you have been around one of these people that's on the disorder within your life, be it your parent, your boss, your siblings, your friends, an intimate partner, a work colleague, it is devastating and it is heartbreaking, especially when they just seem to go around destroying everything about who you are and everything about your life. And when you start to come to realise exactly what's been happening to you and exactly what's been going on and they just seem to get away with it time and time again. It is heartbreaking, it is devastating and there is plenty of people that want to seek revenge and want to see karma hit them and this is a normal emotion. You are normal if you feel like this, you're also normal if you don't feel this way. It is absolutely fine either way. The thing is though, if you do go trying to seek revenge, you as an empathetic caring person will live to regret it. You will feel bad. And most often you will not win with these people. They do not care. They get a kick out of people trying to seek revenge on them and they will just go all out to sink you further. So it's just not worth it. Karma, on the other hand, if you see karma hit them and you didn't do anything to cause that karma, if you want to be pleased, if you want to have a chuckle about it, you are entitled to. If you want to feel sorry for them, you are entitled to. If you want to pity them, you are entitled to. If you want to hate them, you're entitled to. If you want to care about them, you are entitled to. You live that life, you have that relationship with that person, you know what's happened and you are entitled to your own feelings and to be who you want to be. Now if you're in a phase of wanting revenge and karma, the best revenge is success. So if you are in that phase of wanting revenge on them right now, use that to work on you, to start new courses, to start a new job, to lose weight, to gain weight, to buy a new wardrobe, to move homes, to buy a new car, to whatever it is you want from your life. Create those new dreams and start creating them for you. And if it's that revenge that kicks you on that pattern, on that way, on taking those steps to achieve this, use it. Use that emotion to work for you. Because at some point, you're going to cross over, at some point, the more you start focusing on yourself and where your life's going, the less you're going to start, the less you will pay attention to them and what they're up to. And at some point, without you knowing it, you'll be that focused on yourself, your life, your new dreams, your new hobbies. You'll not be paying attention to them anymore. And you're allowed to stop and think about them now and again and hate them. You're allowed to stop and think about them now and again and care about them. It is extremely devastating in the beginning. They are a con artist. They sell you dream after dream to deliver you nightmare after nightmare and it is one of the most hideous experiences that you can ever go through. So wherever you are in your journey of recovery after this, however you are feeling, you are allowed and it is normal to you but what you need to do now is focus on yourself, focus on shifting those feelings out, especially negative feelings, shifting those negative feelings out and finding the positive feelings and start working on your new life, start working on your new dreams. And that truly is the best revenge is you just leaving them 
in the past, where they belong and moving forward with your life. And it can be hard if you are at rock bottom and you have lost everything. It can be extremely difficult, but you will and you can climb back up for a much better outlook on life. Thank you for listening. Bye.